We continue to rely on real world data for this special, the state of education now what? That includes this report by the John Glenn College of Public Affairs at The Ohio State University. Researchers focused on one grade and one subject by analyzing achievement for the third grade English language arts assessment. After comparing scores and participation rates from the fall of 2019 to the fall of 2020, the researchers report the average achievement loss was equivalent to about one third of a year's worth of learning. The percentage of students scoring proficient fell by 9%. Those scoring just high enough to be promoted to fourth grade dropped by 8%. When it comes to race, black students' test score declines were about 50% greater than white students, equaling about a half year's worth of learning loss. And achievement declines were more pronounced in districts that began the academic year with fully remote learning compared to districts using hybrid or in-person instruction. The study raises serious concerns. The question is, are they founded? A superintendent in one local district who I spoke with seems to think so. Drive along I-75 and you'll see the Lockland School District, one of the most economically disadvantaged in the state. It serves K through 12 students, but we're interested in taking a closer look at the younger kids. Don't forget the bell. Like Marcy Marlowe's first graders. Four, oh. Because of those Ohio reading scores we just told you about that showed notable declines from 2019 to 2020. True or false? Have you found that to be true? I was skeptical. Um, not that there was learning loss or reason for concern, but really primarily, how do we know that already? And it caused me to dig a little bit more deeply into our data here in Lachlan. And, and I can tell you that I do see evidence that there is lesser achievement and success as it relates to third grade reading this year. Superintendent Bob Longworth says most everyone lost ground when schools shut down the final months of the last school year. Then you had remote learning. Lockland was one of those districts, though, that offered in-person instruction this whole school year. And the kids were excited to share their skills with me. But the youngest of readers still faced challenges. Just the wearing of the masks and the social distancing oftentimes inhibit our ability to provide instruction in traditional manners that we know are effective for kids. Inhibiting something as simple as being able to see a teacher's mouth moving. You know, I noticed while you were teaching <laughs> that you pulled down the mask to sound something out. Right. How imperative is that? And how does this get in the way of teaching reading? It's extremely imperative that the kids be able to see my face and see my mouth when I'm making sounds. Mm -hmm. We have some students that don't know all their sounds yet, so making sure they're making the correct formation of their mouth when they're saying the sounds to be able to hear the difference between with and with, and some of them say with. So teaching them to make the TH the right way. At Lachland, to preserve helpful reading practices, they put up shields like this so Marlowe could read maskless behind it. As one of six model literacy sites, they've doubled down on their reading focus. They're making sure kids who've fallen behind get the extra help they need. They're spending more time on literacy instruction. Reading groups, even distanced ones, are smaller and every teacher in every subject is focusing on reading. It's all hands on deck. The reading. This is elementary principal Ann Brinkley. If students can't read, they can't read to learn. And that's where our objective is to get them to by the time they're in fourth grade. One reason they have to pass a major assessment in third grade and one reason we wondered about the pandemic impact on that. Moving forward, Longworth said K-3 to literacy was and remains job one at Lachland. In third grade, there's a lot of research that supports that students are, that are not reading at grade level compared to their typical same age peers um, are significantly less likely to graduate from high school on time within a four year window. Because they struggle to learn, and he says it is our duty to prevent that. Are there things a parent can do? It, it is a question that I've been asked and it, it's an easy one to answer. Please try to make reading a priority in your home. Hmm. So important. Superintendent Longworth says libraries and exposure to print help 
And that doesn't just happen at school. If you're wondering, the federal government is spending money to bridge learning gaps. I learned from ODE that the latest round of funding for Ohio totaled about four billion bucks to be spread out over years. That's because learning post-pandemic will require an investment over time.